Okay, now uh, we are going to talk about the second uh, flash terminology that is also important. Um, we talked about high speed sync. Now we are going to talk about set, second curtain sync. You know, they, they sound very similar and they kind of similar except that they are different. And I'm going to again use this thing to demonstrate uh, with the two. Okay, so what the second curtain sync means is this. Okay. So, um, now in the, the, okay, the second curtain sync is effective only when you have a long exposure. Short exposure doesn't really make any difference. But we are talking about really long exposure, like say a second or two seconds. Okay, remember the, the flash pole is very quick, right? One twenty thousandth of a second. Okay, so now you have an exposure like, like this, for example. The first curtain opened up, exposed fully the entire sensor, correct? And then the second curtain would come up we talk about two seconds, right? It'll come up and cover it after two seconds. Okay, so, so now the flash duration is really fast, so you have a choice of where, where to fire the flash, right? Because it takes two seconds to do this. So the normal flash default is that it used what we call a first curtain sync. And what it means is like when you shoot the uh, long exposure, like say two seconds, okay, what it does like this first curtain open up exposed sensor. As soon as it does that, the flash fires right away. So now it takes another one second and 1.59 seconds later this guy is going to cover it. But the flash already fired. So it's exposed it at the very beginning. Okay, now you kind of understand what I'm trying to say, right? So the flash fired right away, that's a default. We call that first curtain sync, the default mode. Now second curtain sync is you tell the flash in the camera to do the opposite. So basically, this thing opens up, and when it opens up, the sensor is exposed to only ambient light, correct? Okay, so ambient light is exposed. Now, the in the second curtain sync, we tell the camera and the flash uh, don't do anything until Okay, until this guy starts to move. So it waits one minute, uh, I mean one second, 1.59, and then it closes. Just before it closes, the second curtain, just before it closes, the flash would fire. So it fires at one sec, 1.58 seconds at the end. You see the difference? Default, it fires at the beginning, when this thing first comes, okay? Second curtain, it waits almost two seconds and then it fires before this guy moves and blocks it. So it fires at the end. And, and that is important for long exposure because if, like, say if you have a, you, you at night and you put it on a tripod and you are exposing the car going by with a red tail light, right? The red tail light is gonna expose, and you want to freeze the car at some point with the flash, even though you open it up for two seconds. Most of it is just ambient light being exposed, and then when the flash fires, that is where the the car got lit up. And usually that is where the freeze motion comes from. So now, 
if you set it to default and you shoot it, guess what is going to happen? What happened is like, as soon as you press the shutter, the flash fires, so it catches the car first at the beginning of the frame. The car continues to move, and the ambient light uh, continue continuing to be exposed. So the end result is like you have a car being frozen, and then you have this red tail light streak that goes ahead of the car. It's a kind of backward thing. It looks really funny because you want the car to be at the end clearly shown and a red tail streak behind it, correct? And you are not going to get that uh, with the default mode, which is the first curtain sink. So you have to set it to the second curtain sink. And what it does is like when the car, the car would go and the red tail light is going to expose the, the frame. And then at the end, the flash fire and freeze the, the car. So, so you have a, 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 a clean looking car with a red tail behind it. And you have to use second curtain sink to achieve that. Now, I have a, a, a picture to show I, I didn't feel like doing it with a real car, wait until at night. So I'm, I'm, I did it with, um, with me holding a flashlight. Um, and basically it will uh, demonstrate the same thing to you. And that's a second curtain sink. Okay. It is kind of an important concept even though we don't really use it that much. Remember, it's only useful when you have a long exposure. High speed sync is opposite. You have very fast exposure. You use high speed sync. Very long exposure. It's prefer preferable to use the uh, the second curtain sync. Okay.